while uh, you know we are at uh, when we say that you no know, it is the olq that we are looking at okay uh, so people tend to take this literally saying that okay olq ki jo एक्सप्लेनेशन है या डेफिनेशन है वो आपके शब्दों में भी आपकी स्टोरी में भी वो झलकनी चाहिए यू नो दैट इज दैट इज द कैच एक्चुअली यू नो यस तो वो मतलब वो टर्मिनोलॉजी भी उनकी अगर आप देखोगे तो वैसी यूज होगी उसमें जो कि एक यू नो एक ओएल क्यू की जो परिभाषा है जो ऐसे कहते हैं दे स्टार्ट यूजिंग दैट टेक्निकल जार्गन्स एक्चुअली दे जस्ट टेक इट अप फ्रॉम देयर एंड दे स्टार्ट यूजिंग दिस इज समथिंग वेयर यू नो Uh, I mean, it's a clear giveaway. You know, you are only OLQ pe focus kar rho, na ki story pe focus kar rho. You know, that is what I I uh, you know tell my students. Ki it should be a natural story. That's OLQs exactly. will come out automatically. Automatically, you yes. don't have to you know uh, rub in that uh, OLQ. I say that is not your job. That is the SSS job. फाइल यस नो ओएल क्यूज आर देयर बट अगर आपकी जो स्टोरी नॉर्मल है और हम जो भी एस 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 बी में कोई भी टेस्ट हो वेदर इट इज योर यू नो साइक टेस्ट और इट इज योर जी टी और इट इज द इंटरव्यू वी आर ओनली यू नो आस्किंग द कैंडिडेट थिंग्स दैट ही मे हैव सीन इन हिज एट द स्टेज वेर ही इज लाइक Uh, that's why we have different set of tests for you know yes. let's say nda entry and the graduate entry the women's entry and uh, so whatever he has been exposed to you know generally uh, he will be able to uh, he is expected to only write that much you know we don't expect nda kind of a student or tes uh, 12 plus uh, student to know about the life uh, that is expected in a college Exactly. लेकिन exactly. वो क्या है कि वो कहीं ना कहीं वो इस तरह का अपना वो बना देते हैं कि शायद ये होगा बिकॉज समबडी जिस ग्रुप में वो प्रैक्टिस करते हैं नाउ दिस इज अगेन यू नो द पियर ग्रुप जिसमें प्रैक्टिस करते हैं तो उसमें आई हैव सो आई ट्राई एंड यू नो मेक देम ऑल्सो इन टू डिफरेंट यू नो कैटेगरी ट्वेल्व प्लस वाला अलग ग्रुप एंड ग्रेजुएट वाला बिकॉज यू नो द मोमेंट यू मिक्स इट दे टेन टू फॉलो दैट बिकॉज वो थोड़ा सा ग्रेजुएट एंट्री वाले जो बच्चे हैं यू नो देरिटी लेवल एक्सपोजर लेवल इज हायर एंड स्टोरीज ऑल्सो साउंड लिटिल मोर कन्विंसिंग बेटर सो वॉट आई वॉज से लिटरली कैंडिडेट टेन टू थिंक दैट वी हैव टू शो ओ एल क्यू इन मे बी एवरी सेंटेंस दैट वी यू नो राइट and you know, more the number of oil cues we write so that focus goes more into thinking about the oil cue expression of the oil cue rather than the story or the sentence per se you know that is yes. something i think uh, most of us find it and in all the um, all the boards you know we keep having these inter technique uh, discussions and things like that and dipr also you know all that research is there where uh, the main focus is on the coached candidates okay you know how yes. to unmask that coaching effect yeah so uh, may i uh, request you to just uh, you know for the benefit of uh, these aspirants uh, cover as to you know what is what is expected as far as the candidate is concerned you know when we are talking about the tat vat srt uh sd of course is almost uh, clear us me there is not much of a problem so if you could just explain them you know one by one sir what we are doing in the psych test per se is uh, of course checking the personality of an individual now personality uh, to check the entire personality of that individual okay uh, these uh, different it's a battery of four tests psych test is a battery of four tests okay starting off from your story writing which is uh, tat then wat then srt and sd the main okay the basic profile of the candidate is made based on the stories which he has written the 12 stories which he has written why because in the stories when we talk of writing the stories there are no boundaries which we lay down for the candidate uh, ki yahan se likhna hai yahan tak likhna or something it's an open field Absolutely. whatever comes in your mind whatever is your imagination you put it down in a form of a story 
Now what happens in this, the unconscious part of the personality comes up. Okay, and when we when we explain, you must have also said, what you all do it in the DIPR, is that when you explain the personality of an individual, you akin it to an iceberg and you say that, okay, yes. unconscious part is the surface, Kanichi wala part, and which constitute the major part of your personality. Okay, and this unconscious part of the personality comes out in the stories. So once we start assessing the test, of course, we go through the PIQ first, we see what is his uh, socioeconomic background, his educational qualification, what are games, sports, other things he has participated in, and how much has he been able to utilize the resources which were avail available to him by his parents or guardians. Okay. Thereafter, we start, uh, we, we do a blind analysis, we see, okay, how much of stuff he has given, the content part, and thereafter, we go story by story and we start analyzing it. So when we analyze the TAT part, and as we call it, it's a projective technique. So how has he been reacting to the stimulus which has been shown to him? Okay. Now, the, the, the entire uh, datum remains the same. Okay. Through his stories, one by one, we read and we see whether he is sticking to the stimulus which has been shown to him, number one whether he has been able to perceive any problem in that uh, stimulus number two if he has perceived that problem whether that problem is a shallow problem or an average problem or a deep rooted problem which is involving some kind of actions to be taken by the hero to solve it because the next step comes of providing a solution to the problem now while he is providing a solution whether he is doing everything by himself or he is a team man utilizing everybody the resources available to him and achieving the solution and subsequently whether he has been a winner in his attempt or he has been a dupe. Okay. In that various are the entire OLQs, all those 15 OLQs, they start coming out one by one, um, story by story when we progress. So after going through the 12 stories which he has written, okay, the the basic personality profile is made that the candidate is scored in these, 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 borderline or in these, 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 and uh, restrictions in these, these, these qualities. WAT and SRT are the confirmatory tests to the response which he has given in PAT. Okay. Similarly, now what happens in WAT, now we show him a word. So what happens in the word, that boundary which was limitless in PAT has, it shrinks down a little bit because now perforce he has to think around that word which has been shown to him. So you narrow it down, yeah. Hmm. You narrow it down. So what happens is this, the, it's the subconscious part of his personality which is now coming up. Okay. <clears throat> and if, when we come from WAT to SRT, now SRT is a pointed question to him, okay, you entered your room and you saw a black snake, black cobra on your bed. So now you have got no other way but to react to that problem which is in front of you. Yes. Okay. So here the conscious part of the personality comes out. So unconscious to subconscious to conscious makes the entire personality profile of that candidate. And that is how we make it and we see, yes, that the candidate with his present performance and the kind of training which he is going to get, okay, whether it's going to be one year or four years, depending upon the entry from which he is going. Okay, so whether he will be able to come up to that average officer like uh, average officer level or not, and on that basis is the judgment given whether to recommend or not to recommend. Yes, so uh, here there is another you know a, a lot of myths. Um, sir, I wrote all twelve stories, all sixty VATs, all sixty SRTs. Now, this is that quantification of uh, the responses. So, what do you have to say on that? So, this is, this is always uh, associated with psych. And uh, because everyone blames the psychologist, because uh, what happens in SSB <laughs> that the uh, well done commander is the last yes, word being spoken yes, by DTO. <laughs> and uh, interviewing officer, you all also say, okay, it was a pleasure talking to you, and I <laughs> wish you all the very best. So yes. the candidate is damn sure in his mind that two have passed. A psychologist who has passed has passed. And why not done it is a question because I wrote a whole story, 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 but I don't know what these people are looking for. Mm -hmm. So now the thing comes, on, comes down onto the same. Mm -hmm. You wrote a whole story, 
लेकिन बारह स्टोरी क्या ऐसे लिखी कि आपकी कोई वैल्यू निकल के आई उसमें या नहीं दैट इज द क्वेश्चन आपने सिक्सटी वर्ड्स तो लिखे बट वर्ड्स क्या आपने इतना अच्छा इमेजिनेशन उसमें दिया कि आपकी ओल क्यू निकल के आ रही है या नहीं दैट इज द क्वेश्चन आपने 55 या 60 एस तो कर दी लेकिन उस रिएक्शंस में आपका कुछ ऑप्शन लाइक क्वालिटीज निकला या नहीं निकला वो दैट इज द क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज वे ही नीड्स टू चेक हिमसेल्फ आउट ओके आप तो पोस्ट एनालिसिस जब आप कर रहे हो कोई भी कोई भी एस्टोरेंट ओके इफ यू इज नॉट गॉट रिकमेंडेड एंड इफ यू आर एनालाइजिंग योर सेल्फ नाउ यू गो थ्रू ओके कि भाई मैंने स्टोरी तो लिखी बट स्टोरी क्या ऐसी थी कि उसमें कुछ ऑयल क्यू निकल रही थी तो उसके लिए पहले आपको ऑयल क्यू समझना बहुत जरूरी है कि है क्या वॉट आर दीज ऑयल क्यूज एंड वॉट डू दे मीन एक्चुअली राधर देन मार्किंग एट अप एंड जब किसी ने पूछा कि भाई वॉट इज रीजनिंग एंड ये ये करके है कि अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिचुएशन एंड वो बट वॉट इज वॉट डज इट रियली मीन ओके वेदर यू आर एबल टू परसीव a problem and there after find out what was the cause of the problem because of which it has taken place and there after provide a solution to aapne us dhang se us story ko approach kiya hai ya nahi kiya hai that is the question now and this is what a assessor a, 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 a mentor or a person who has been an assessor can help you in. तो so, यहाँ पे ही गड़बड़ होती है क्योंकि आप सब लोग लिख के आते हो बट उसमें कुछ मटेरियल कुछ कुछ वैल्यू निकलती ही नहीं इट इज इट इज अ प्लेन एंड सिंपल शैलो स्टोरी विच विच गिव्स ऑफ नो इट सी इट इज नॉट अ टेस्ट ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज स्टोरी राइटिंग और सेंटेंस राइटिंग इट इज नॉट अ टेस्ट ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज एट यू यूज वेरी गुड एडजेक्टिव एंड यू गुड यूज वेरी गुड इंग्लिश एंड यू थिंक दैट यू हैव डन वेरी नो इट इज नॉट दैट इट इज द एक्शन विच शो योर क्वालिटीज whether you have been able to do it or not is the uh, bottom line